Hey guys, DJ Townsville here with Now. I'm gonna run you through a quick 10 minute sequence to increase mobility and flexibility. So let's get to it. So we're gonna start on the ground, laying on our backs. Gently go side to side in a nice windshield wiper motion to loosen up the hip flexors, the spine, the glutes. Just very gently go side to side. We'll do a couple more rounds here. And then we're gonna rock all the way over to the left. So once we get to the left, you're gonna take your left foot, place it on top of that right quad. Just gently push that right quad toward, or that right knee towards the ground. And not forcing that right knee to the ground, but just encouraging it towards the ground. And if you want to place your hands down on the ground or on the mat for balance and stability, you can. But we're going to keep that left foot across that right quad, and then we're going to bring it back to center. So now, flexing the right foot to take any pressure off the left knee joint, we're going to press the hips into the air, and then just let gravity pull that left knee towards the ground. And slowly lower those hips down to the ground. And from center, we're gonna rock all the way over to the right, allowing that left foot to touch down onto the ground. And we're gonna take our right hand and press the inside of that left knee away from us. So you should feel that stretch through the outer hip flexor on the left side. Just continue to breathe deeply, nice relaxing breaths, inhaling through the nose. Slight retention of the breath. Slow, controlled exhale out of the nose or the mouth. And gently release that knee, rocking back to center. We're gonna take that left knee, gently put it down on the mat, or left foot and put it down on the mat, and we're gonna press the hips into the sky to reset the hips. Squeezing through the glutes, pressing down through the heels, and slowly lower the hips down. And we're going to go back to our windshield wipers, rocking side to side. And we're going to rock all the way over to the right. Taking their right foot, laying it across the left quad, gently encouraging that left knee down to the ground. Holding it there for a few breaths. And flexing that right foot, coming back to center. Remember, we're flexing the right foot to protect that right knee joint. Press the hands down into the ground, lift the hips to the sky, allow gravity to pull that right knee down towards the ground. And slowly lower those hips down. Rock all the way over to the left. Allow the bottom of that right foot to touch down on the ground. Take the left hand, press it on the inside of that right knee, pressing it away from you. And gently release, rocking back to center. Release that right foot down to the mat. Press the hips up to the sky to reset.
and slowly lower them down, bringing the knees into the chest. We're gonna rock back and forth to a seated position. We're gonna take both feet, lay them out in front. We're just gonna do a nice forward fold to stretch out the lower back. We're gonna take an inhale, reaching the arms to the sky. And as we exhale, leading with the chest, try to keep that back straight. Reaching down towards the feet. If you can't reach the feet, you can grab the ankles, the calves, you can cross the arms underneath the knees. As long as the spine is straight, we're doing good. Nice, comfortable stretch. You shouldn't be straining during this stretch. And as we come up from that stretch, we're gonna bring that right knee into the chest. Now, pressing the stomach and the chest up against that right quad, making sure our posture is correct. We're gonna grab a hold of the right foot or you can support the back of the right knee and just extend that foot up and out in front. Now we're gonna release the left hand down and holding on to the outside edge of that foot with the right hand, we're gonna bend that knee so that it comes in towards our armpit. Now again, if you wanna just support the back of the knee, you just bring the knee into the chest. As we release, we're gonna take that right foot Bring it across the left leg. We're gonna take the right hand, reach behind for the ground, and then bring the left arm over it and lock that left tricep on the outside of that right knee, gazing over the right shoulder. So this is a good sciatic stretch to stretch out that piriformis. Make sure to give counter pressure pressing that left tricep and that right knee together. So not one more than the other, press them equally together. As we come back to center, we're gonna take that left arm, wrap it around that right knee, and then hug it into the left side of the chest. So now you feel that stretch in the piriformis a little more. Slowly release that right leg down, and then bring that left knee into the chest. Again, pressing that stomach and that chest up against the left quad to correct any posture issues. Relax the shoulders down, and then supporting the back of the knee or underneath the foot, extend that foot out and up. Now, if you feel too much pressure in any of these stretches, you're more than welcome to bend the knee so that you're not putting too much strain on the muscles or the joints. From there, release that right hand down, bringing that left knee in to the left armpit, or again, supporting the back of the knee, bringing that knee into the chest. As we release, bring that left foot over to the right side of your leg. Reach that left arm behind you, touching down on the ground, and then bring that right arm over, pressing that right tricep against that left knee, and also pressing that left knee against that right tricep. Give a little counter pressure, you'll feel that twist in the spine. Gazing over that left shoulder, continue to breathe. And as we come back to center, wrapping that right arm around that left knee, hugging that knee into the right side of the chest and slowly release that leg out in front. We're gonna take one more forward fold, inhale the arms to the sky, press that chest forward, straighten out that spine, lead with the chest, going down to that forward fold, and slowly release. And just take a deep inhale, 
through the nose and a nice strong releasing exhale out of the nose of the mouth. And there you go, 10 minute stretch. Not as exciting, but very beneficial. So hop on the mat, do something to help yourself out, to help your body, help your mind, help your spirit. And I will see you some other time. Namaste and one love.